Hey everyone, Alex Davis. If I had three rods, three baits to use anywhere in the country all year, that's the only three baits I can put and rods I can put in my boat. It's really simple for me. First, I'm gonna go with a vibrating jig right here. This is the jackhammer. This bait right here, you can cover so much water with. It doesn't matter if you're throwing it around trees, if you're throwing it around grass. That's where, to me, it shines, offshore grass. Any lake, most of the lakes in the country have grass, so especially if you go up north, go down south, a lot of them have grass. So I would never leave home without a vibrating jig. I throw it on a Karadu 150 MGL. That's actually the 6.2. I like a lower gear ratio. The reason I like that is I can slow it down, fish 10 foot of water in grass. I can speed it up if I'm fishing up shallow. I throw 15 pound P-Line tactical fluorocarbon on that. The rod, there's only one rod to use. Karadu 7.2 medium heavy glass rod. The glass rod is super Super important the reason that being it lets the fish load up on the bait you don't jerk it away from them you land so much more fish with a glass rod I've tried just a regular medium heavy I lose too many I can feel the bait better than you can with a glass rod but to me I just lose way too many fish so vibrating jig 7-2 medium heavy glass rod 6-2 reel that's crowded 150 MGL I can do a lot of stuff with this my second rod of choice is gonna be a swim jig the reason I like the swim jig is I can put this jig in places that I can't put the chatterbait. I throw it on a 7.2 medium heavy. I put it on a 50 pound max quattro. That's a little bit smaller line diameter, 40 pound test line diameter. I throw it on a Karadu 150 XG MGL. Um, I can just put this bait anywhere I want to. This rod's perfect. It has. A, I can cast it, I can flip it, um, I can put the bait where I want to, but then if I need to, I can make bomb casts with it. The reason I like a swim jig, if I had only three rods, this little jig right here, vertical line tie, I can also flip it. So if I get in a situation where it's like, maybe I think I need to slow down, not swim it next to a tree or swim it next to a bush, I can flip the jig. So it's very, very versatile. You can flip it, you can swim it, you can do just about anything. My last one, probably didn't think this was gonna come, right here, spinning rod. This is a 2500 Stella. It's the premier spinning rod on the market. This is a seven foot Karadu spinning rod. Medium action. To me, that's the best. The reason I'd pick a drop shot is a lot of times throughout the country, it doesn't matter if you're in Texas, if you're in Florida, if you're New York, anywhere in the country, when fish get finicky, a drop shot is a huge, huge player. Um, I actually just came from a tournament and I was vibrating jig. That's what I was all about. Well, 12 o'clock at the end of the day, I only had one fish. Picked up the spinning rod, caught my limit on it. So when fishing gets tough, I break down to the spinning rod. So if I had three, I'm gonna go drop shot, and on baits on drop shot, that's where you can also get technical. This right here is a shad style. This is a Z-Man Streaks. Um, it mimics a shad. I actually use a robo worm hook with that, I hook it in the back. So if they're feeding on shad, I can use this. A lot of times if they're not feeding on shad with a drop shot, I can use a robo worm. Six inch robo worm, there's only one color. That's uh, morning dawn, red flake to me. So very, very versatile. Get you a drop shot, you have two different style baits, a swim jig, a chatter bait. Look at the Karadu rattle lines. They're the most versatile rods on the market. You can go a lot of different things with them. And if I had three, that's my three. I can catch bass anywhere in the country on these.